So in the last video, I started working on figuring out what's the probability of hitting the goalpost, but the problem was there was a faulty assumption. The assumption was is that we were trying to hit it with a laser beam, something with no thickness. But a, no a normal football is 7 inches wide and 11 inches long. And so even if it's not dead on, if it's off by an inch or two, the football is still going to hit it. So what we have to do is we have to think about the goalposts and just imagine that they're not the four inches that we said, but they're a little bit wider. So what I did was I said, all right, let's expand it. Let's expand it to include the seven inches around both sides of it. Because if the ball travels within this, it's still going to hit it. Now for right now, we're just going to assume if it hits, it stays out. I'll grant you that yes, sometimes when the ball hits the goalpost, it will bounce in, but just to keep our model as simple as possible, it needs, if it falls in here, it's going to jump out. So, now, so to, so to change our model a little bit, now we're going to say that these goal posts are not 4 inches wide, but 18 inches wide. Alright, so 18 inches wide. So what that means is, is that the distance between them on the inside is going to be lessened because I added 7 inches this way and 7 inches this way. So originally it was 222 inches. So we have to back out 14 inches on that. So that's 208 is the gap between them. And someone correctly pointed out, it was my mistake, a 43-yard field goal is actually going to be placed at the 33-yard line because I didn't take into account the fact that the end zone is actually 10 yards. So that means from the back of the end zone all the way out to where the ball is, that's the 43 yards. So thank you for that. I really appreciate that. I didn't know that, so I'm learning something too. So 43 yards times 3 is 129 feet times 12 inches is 1,548 inches. So that's the, that's the length from where the ball is kicked to the end zone. So 1,548. And actually, mathematically, bringing the ball closer actually makes the probability of hitting the ball a little bit bigger. There's kind of a sweet spot somewhere in the 10 to 20 yard range where the angle's the biggest. Um, we can look at that possibly in a later video. So now what we do is we draw to here and then we draw to the inside first. All right, now we said the inside gap was 208 from goalpost to goalpost, but we have to split that in half. So that's going to be 104 inches to 1548 inches. So if we call, so this angle right here, let's use a good pen, call that angle A. So in this right triangle, we have tangent of angle A equals 104 over 1548. So A is the inverse tangent of that. And 104, 15, 48, and that's going to be an angle of 3.844 degrees. All right, so now we need to go to the outside. Now we said that with the, with the goal post itself, it was just 4 inches in diameter. But if we include the 7 inches on both sides, we're going to tack on an extra 18 inches. So the second angle to the outside, we'll call it angle B. So we're going to take 104 and tack on 18 extra inches to that. So 104 plus 18 is 122. Now the distance is still the same, 1548. So angle B is the inverse of that. So we get an angle of, let's change 104 to 122, and so we get 4.506 degrees. 
Now we have to subtract them because we want the difference because that represents the, the angle that the ball would have to be traveling in to hit the actual go po post. So 4.506 minus 3.844 and that is 0.622. But remember there are two goal posts not one so we have to double that. So it's 1.324 degrees out of a possible 90 degrees. So when we do that, we get 0 0.0147, or as a percentage, 1.47% of the time. So actually, by doing this, our last percentage was 0.26%. And so this is almost seven times more likely from our previous answer, just by including the thickness of the ball. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.